Okay, everyone, this is going to be a relatively quick video on what is a case analysis. And I realize that this assignment is due kind of before we get to where we need to be, just because of the time frame. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a real quick video on this. So what I'm going to do is just really quickly write down what a case analysis is. So all case analysis should have this at the top, the case name and its correct site, which if you pulled the case or you've looked at what I've given you, it's already there. So you should be able to just put that at the top. Now, what this normally breaks down to, and people can do this differently, I don't mind. Some people add an F in here, and I'll explain that in a second. So what where the F would come in is people like to put the facts up here so you can write the facts. Now what this means is just going into the case, looking at the case and try to figure out what the relevant facts is. This is the big thing here. The relevant facts. If they are not relevant, I don't want to see them because all you're doing is holding up pace space. What case analysis are are really cliff notes of the case. What it means is a lot of times what will happen in research is you'll go through, you'll do your memo and everything, and you'll attach a case analysis to the back if you used a case. And the reason behind this is the reader of that file memo, which is normally the CPAs, other CPAs in the office, they're going to want to know, is this really what that case held? Because as new researchers, sometimes you might grab a case, do something and assume, not assume, grab a thought or a process and say it applies to your facts when really potentially it doesn't or it's different than what you thought. So if you want to use the facts, I'm totally okay. Where I normally start is the issue. And the issue really is, what was the court's question? What was the court trying to solve? Okay, so normally this is one sentence. Now, there might be more than one issue. You may have three issues. If you have three issues, there's three different sentences, okay? Just go ahead and write all three out. Now, when you come down here to when we do the analysis, you have your three here. I want to see an analysis for each one. I want to see an analysis for one, an analysis for two, and an analysis for three. The next thing is rule. Rule is what law? And when I mean what law, that's not, get rid of that. Eek, 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 eek. What law? I mean this. I mean Internal Revenue Code or Reg. Or if it's a case that brings in its own common law. And what I mean by that is, let's say it's a substance over form type thing, or it's a business purpose. There might be regularly be held for In that particular case, it would be common law. Now, it's not those cases that help explain the analysis, okay? That's not the ones I'm looking for. In that particular case, what they're doing is they're actually using an internal revenue code, and then what they're doing is they're finding a case that analyzes that internal revenue code to apply to their situation. I'm not looking for that. In that particular case, it would be the internal revenue code. Now, for this, you can just put down like IRC section 162. I'm okay with that. You don't have to, and if you want to put, you can put here trade or business expenses. I'm okay with that. You do not need to go ahead and pull together. You don't have to put all the code in there or anything like that. You could just put IRC 162 and maybe it's A. Okay, so in that particular case, you'd be fine. If it's a reg, you'd put in treasury reg. Section 1.482-1. I don't know whether those are real or not, but that, just do that. Don't, don't spend a lot of time. The rule section should be relatively short. Analysis. This is where there's two different ways. If you've put your facts up here, I'm totally okay. My normal analysis would be how did the court apply these rules to the facts? Okay? That's how. Now, this is normally where I interdisperse my facts. However, if you put the facts up here, you don't need to redo it down here. So normally what this is is just really how did the court take those set of facts, apply their particular rule, and come up with their conclusion. The conclusion is merely the holding. So again, this is a very little bit of it. 
okay that's a small portion of it so really when you're looking at it you're gonna go ahead and really the analysis should be the largest part now in your analysis if you had these different issues I expect to see headings I expect to see headings where it breaks down okay and the reason behind this is let's say I'm only interested in how you analyzed issue number two well I may just go right to issue number two now this heading can say issue two or the heading can say what that issue was whichever way you want to do I am totally okay with either now I realize that this is you know new to you all this is a chance for you to spread your wings a lot of times everybody do you have examples well if you go on the if you go online there's tons of examples out there however this is really I've given you everything that you need right here this is where you learn okay because if you're out there in a CPA firm they said hey do a case analysis of this they're not going to say well here's four different examples okay they're not going to give you that they're going to say just do it so go ahead and spread your wings I mean again I'm, I I grade very liberally on this first one because of the fact that I want you to learn so the first thing that you write for me is very liberal because in addition to being able to tell whether you can set it up this way I also find your writing habits and I try to assist you in those now some people like I say might their writing is perfect I don't have anything to offer there and then I'm going to be looking at it just from the um, the um, technical aspects but for those people that writing is a little bit new or whatever I'm here to help you so in that particular case you guys should be fine one thing in the analysis section if for some odd reason let's say you go through and you write a sentence and this sentence is really from another court case put in parentheses and put that court case in there okay I think that's it I hope this helped you um, again these are the type of things that I'll be doing throughout this course is just little snippets to try to help you understand I mean that's really my goal in this class I try to keep these short because I realize um, I would get bored so I think if I get bored I think that you might get bored and I don't want to be that professor so thank you everyone you guys have a great rest of your day and I thank you so much bye all